If you want to get on target accurately and quickly, you have to understand flash sight picture. Hi, I'm Dave Miles with the National Shooting Sports Foundation, and with me is Bob Whaley, Range Master at Gunsight. And today we're going to talk about flash sight picture. It's gunsight, the Gunsight way, getting on target quickly and accurate. You bet, Dave. Here at Gunsight, we advocate use of the sights at all distances outside of shooting from retention or that area that's uh, within arm's reach of your adversary when you're actually in physical contact. The reason being is in live operations, we've seen people miss at distances of just three feet where we are here today. We advocate it for two primary reasons. Number one, you know, there is a universal hit rate out there, and it applies whether you're police, military, civilians, good guys or bad guys, and it's 100%. Mm -hmm. 100% of the time that you launch a projectile downrange, it's going to hit something. Uh, we prefer that it hits our intended target. <laughs> if you do that, you've taken a giant leap toward ending this problem uh, and this threat to your life or the life of someone else. The second reason, well, uh, you'll either hit your intended target or you'll hit an unintended target. The unintended target is going to be hopefully some inanimate object that nobody cares about but it's just as likely to be some innocent person uh, that got in the way of your errant shot. Sure. Uh, the other reason why we advocate use of the sights, again, at all distances outside of shooting from retention, is that in a crisis, you're going to revert to the tactics that you train on the most. So in other words, if you are interested in the, the application of defensive weapons craft, you're probably doing most of your training certainly inside 10 yards and probably rightfully so inside three and five yards because sure. that's where the vast majority of these encounters take place. If you're not using your sights up there for those thousands of iterations, just because your distance has increased or the complexity of your shot has increased because there's a hostage situation or innocent people in close proximity to the threat, maybe in an active shooter in, uh, situation, uh, you're not going to use those sites because you haven't trained to do it. And in that crisis, when you don't have time to think about it a lot, you're going to revert to that thing that you have done the most. Mm -hmm. So here at Gunsight, we advocate use of sites appropriate for the situation. And the flash sight picture is one of uh, the components of the modern technique. Flash sight picture, uh, using a flash sight picture and defining it, it's just that. I get an ever so quick look at the front sight. I set up the aiming process through my grip and stance. The front sight, a glance at that front sight, confirms what I've set up with my, my physical uh, presence and how I'm standing and such. And all I need to do is see that front sight somewhere in the region that I want to hit. It is the mm -hmm. final confirmation that you need. Before you take the before, before you, you take press that shot. That shot. Okay. And I'm fully aware of all the studies out there that say you, you won't see your front sight, you can't see your front sight, you're not going to look at that front sight. I've read them all. Yep. It doesn't matter. Number well, I know one, when I'm in a hurry and I don't look at the front sight, usually that means I've missed. Right. <laughs> so. Just because we've got a study out there that says we won't do it doesn't mean that, that we don't have to. And I can tell you that the instance that I was involved in uh, as a SWAT officer when I was still active, the incidents that teammates, friends, colleagues, acquaintances have been involved in, they went well because those guys were trained to use their sights and they used them in the moment of that critical incident and mm -hmm. they were successful. Sure. So. And you don't get a second chance. You never get a second chance. So. You need to use all the resources at your disposal to ensure you accomplish what you need to accomplish. Now Bob, when you're saying flash sight picture, how quickly can you get an accurate shot on target? Uh, short distance like this, three, five yards? Now the average shooter can come from a holster up on and fire an accurate shot in about a second and a half. And that's the average shooter. You, know, you got a lot of people who, you know, good young ones, uh, have those fast twitch muscles and they're going to get that shot off a lot quicker and just as accurate under that. Other folks, you know, uh, for whatever reason, it'll take a little bit longer. Sure. But the key to this thing is not the number of rounds you fire, but the number of rounds you hit with. Mm -hmm. It doesn't do any good to blaze away five, six, eight, ten, whatever number of rounds and miss the target or hit him in a finger or an ineffective area, endanger all those innocents downrange here. Mm -hmm. What counts is 
one or two or three, whatever you can do, well-placed hits in a reasonable time frame on that target that has forced you to, ri to rise to the level of deadly force. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, why don't we take a look? You bet. Let's see what we got here. And here's what I'm looking for. My eyes can only focus in one plane at a time. So I have three planes to concentrate on. I have the target, the front sight, and the rear sight. Once I've ID'd this target and determined this is something that I need to hit, as, as the pistol comes out or the pistol comes up into uh, my view, I'm going to switch to that front sight. Mm -hmm. Now, all I need is a flash of it. I don't need a lot of precision on that sight. I'm just looking for the front sight. I'm not going to dwell on it. Okay. I'm, or, I'm not going to dwell on lining the front sight critically and precisely in the rear sight. Let's put it that way. Sure. I'm looking for that front sight. It can vary a little bit left, right, up, down, but I'm looking to put the, the rounds in that region of the body roughly level with and between the armpits. Okay. All right, does that make sense? It does. All right, let's get ready to go here. Eyes and ears. First thing we're gonna do since we're going into a fight, we're gonna make sure that the pistol is ready to go. We're gonna chamber check, mag check. I'm loaded up, ready to go. We're gonna come up and it's gonna be a single round first. I, there's my front sight, I get my hit. Let's go two, there's my front sight and two. There's two hits in that region. They don't need to be on top of each other. They need to be in that area. I come up front sight, I shoot three. That's not too bad. Let's come up again. I see that front sight. Here's a reload. Let's come up and give it another one. Work my way back into the holster, slowly and deliberately and with my trigger finger straight. For defensive purposes, that's nice. That, Remember that, that I'm not good. shooting bullseyes. Mm -hmm. I don't have to put one round on top of the other. I need my rounds to go into an area of the body that's going to give me the highest probability of stopping this fight quickly. I don't need to have precise height alignment. What I need is a glance at the front sight. I need to see it clearly, as clearly as I possibly can, but my attention needs to go from the threat, not the target, think of it as the threat, to the front sight to get my flash sight picture to ensure that my rounds go where they can best accomplish the mission. Sure. So now that you better understand flash sight picture, Head out to the range and get some practice. If you're looking for a place to shoot, visit our website. It's wheretoshoot.org. And when you're out there, remember, firearm safety depends on you.